my name is George Pearson and this special Photoshop Elements video is part of a series that I have on doing photography techniques for wedding photography. You can see a few examples in here from the different videos. Now all of these are using images that are available free on the internet and I have a link in the description for you to download the videos if you want to work with the same images that I'm using in my video demonstrations. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Frequently, when you are doing wedding photography, working on wedding photography, or any other kind of portrait for that matter, you'll come across situations where you need to do some masking out of the subject in order to fix something in the background. This wedding picture here is a good example of that. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on this. Let's just click our zoom tool here. And I'll zoom in. On this particular picture, there's some real problems back here in the background area. And in order to fix those, we want to mask out the foreground subjects so we can then easily work on the background area. Or you may want to take somebody and put them onto a different background altogether. Let me show you how to do that when you're working with a difficult situation like hair. If we zoom in a bit further here, you'll see that the the hair in this can cause a real serious problem and that's because it has all this wispiness and stuff going around in there all that kind of stuff very difficult to do that normally when I'm doing a mask I'll come in here and I'll use my favorite tool which is the polygonal lasso tool right there and I'll just carefully make a selection around everything that, that I want to select I'll take my time to do it and do a real nice clean selection but on something like this there's far too much detail in here to do that kind of a careful selection. It will just take too long to do. So, let me show you the easy way to mask out things like this hair. First, I'm going to switch my tool over here to the regular lasso tool, just a freehand tool, and I'm going to make a simple selection just outside of what I want to have. I'll just come around here to the bottom. I'm not going to worry about that for this demo, but just, just outside here of the hair. Not coming in too close. So there's a real rough selection. Obviously though I need to pull the selection in to the hair to get all that careful wispy stuff. And we can do that by modifying this selection. Let me just first go over here and make sure we're on the right layer. There we go, that's our picture layer. Okay, look up here to select and come down to refine edge. Since that's what we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking this edge here and refining the edge. So refine edge. Here we are. And this brings up the refine edge dialog box. There's a lot of stuff down here which is useful for lots of other reasons. Not really useful for this particular technique here. For this, we'll just be using the technique right here, the view mode at the top, and then just painting in the selection, refine edge selection. Before we do that though, let's take a look quickly over here at the view mode. You have several different ways of looking at your mask as you make it. The default is the red overlay, which is what I normally leave mine on. You can use the marching ants effect, the red overlay, put it on black, put it on white. These are useful for checking your mask as you're going. Black on white so you see just the mask on the layer if you want to, and then reveal the full layer. Okay, so we'll have ours on overlay. That's fine. You leave all this stuff as is. Don't worry about anything down here right now. Now notice over here you can see that we have a cursor. There it is. Easy to see that. There's a cursor with a little or a plus sign in the middle. The size of that is determined right down here. So you can adjust the size with a slider control to get it just the size that you want. Now to do this selection, what you want to do is you want to have that plus sign in your mask area and then overlap the circle onto what you're masking. So if I was going along here, I want to keep the plus sign outside and then have the circle overlap onto the hair. So that's the whole trick. And let's see how it works. It's just done just like using a paintbrush. So I'm just going to paint like this. I'll let go. And notice how it now went in and Photoshop Elements found those edges. Did a real nice masking job for us right down there. Okay, let's just go along the top here. Now this isn't going to be perfect, it never is. And 
you'll have to come back and do a little bit of modification afterwards maybe it depends on how well it, it figures this stuff out normally it messes up a little bit like right there it messed up right there you know that's to be expected that it's not going to be exactly perfect but it's going to be awfully close and it will save you a lot of time so it's a little bit messed up in here on the chin and a little bit right up in there could be fixed but the rest is looking pretty good now on this I have down here just a little bit of some flowers on a dark background just to give us a different background just as an example I've already positioned that in behind her head so it's easy to see let's just change this to on layers and we can now see how well that's working on that mask actually there's a beautiful mask around here on this part of it only problem is really a problem is right down in here and and that little bit right there we can clean those up on the mask. I'm going to say OK on this. Now I want to output this to a new layer. Come down here, selection. Let's do new layer with layer mask right there. Choose OK. There's my new layer. There's a layer mask. And it has automatically hidden this other layer for us. So that's now hidden. Now I want to clean up the edge in here. Along here, I could come in and you know do a real careful selection and then fix that edge or I can just paint it in now for if I was doing this professionally if this is an actual job I was doing I would carefully come in and do a real careful selection along here and then do my fix on the mat using that selection for now I'll just hand do it so go over here make sure that you're on the mask side of things you can tell you're here because we have that cyan outline around that now when you're on the mask notice that the white area is showing and the black area is hiding the picture. So black hides, white shows. If I want to hide something like this little bit right there, I want to be painting in onto the mask in black. So let's go over here, make sure on black we are. Go to the paintbrush tool. Let's check our brush size. Probably fine. And let's come in here. I'm just going to do, just kind of tap in like that. And come in a little bit on this thing. Just where it's a little bit soft. And I'm just carefully painting in on the black side of that mask. And that cleans that up. Now I want to get rid of the mask right in here on the chin. And I can do that by painting white. Just the exact opposite. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can see this better. Let's first finish up our black. Let's come in, just kind of carefully paint right along the edge like that. A little bit of hair showing up there, which is fine. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's now switch our colors. There we go to white. And I'll come onto the white side. And then I'll carefully paint on the white part of the mask. And that will reveal her skin back there. So that takes to that hole that was kind of made by that tool so there we go that fixes that bit the mask is now fixed let's just double check right there yeah i thought i could use a little bit right in there that's fine okay let's zoom out just a touch alt key to zoom out there we go so using that refined edge we've now done a real nice masking job as you can see here around the hair getting all this little fine stuff very very easily by using that refined edge tool which allows us to put our image on a different background like I did here or just to clean up the existing background which is the real problem that I have here that I wanted to fix what's back in there and by masking that out it allows me to fix that background without damaging the background so there you go that is how you mask around hair again you make your selection using the lasso tool there it is come just outside what you want to select go up to the select and use the refined edge dialog box here and using the the paintbrush again put the plus into the masked area and then overlap the circle onto what you want to be masking out there you go that is how to mask out difficult subjects like hair. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. 
Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.